that was happening. We're going to be about the Harriet uh, Riverboat captain. Says that um, that episode on that particular dock has happened quite a bit. Says that those cats, the white folks come from Selma, have been known to cause problems. Apparently, they all in cahoots with the police there. And a couple of things of interest, too. The police didn't even show up until after the brothers came on attack, after the white lynch mob thugs attacked the black captain, the black, yeah, the black security, who we thought. And either way, they didn't do nothing. So what it looking like is that the police chief and the mayor of that particular place in Alabama are sellouts. You know, because it ain't no justice for, well, you know, in America with three Ks, there's two things. There's justice and then there's just us. To let it be known. And um, I saw him on CNN. He was watching his words. He was staying on cold. He said, yeah, he knew the brother and all that, but he was trying to say it wasn't racial. Well, if seven, eight white folks attack a black person and the N-word is said and they attack and like there's nobody business and they got a white chick in the middle of it, what would you call it? Stevie Wonder could see what that is. So, you know, when you see stuff like this, it just lets you know. What's up in America with three Ks? And it's going to be more of this to come. Bet your bottom dollar. And these sellout politicians that are black who want to be all happy with the massa. And I'm going to let this be known to you, too. I don't even care who they're dating. Because even they, if they, even if the police chief or mayor were in a racial relationship, what have you, they still black. And I say that to say that when you downplay anything, you'll never forget where you come from, especially when you live in this country, because they got a way of letting it be known. Oh, there's going to be more to come out of this. There's going to be a lot more that is said. I just think it's ironic that the name of the boat is the Harriet. Think about Harriet Tubman. Think about the metaphors and everything involved. That was a slave dock and everything that goes along and everything that comes to pass. And believe me, it's got a lot more stories. This ain't no isolated episode. This ain't no isolated incident. The police is on the payroll. They know those good old boys and they look the other way, which they tend to do in this racist country. I tell you all the time that, you know, that's what they do. They don't like and care about black folks, but they sure want that money. They sure want that coolness. They sure want that fantasy, that illusion. But they don't like black people. They don't want anything to do with black folk. You know, I would tell you to boycott that that boat. I tell you, don't ever go on that tour again. Somebody will, though. Because they're going to tempt fate. They're going to say, oh, it was ISO. Wouldn't it be nice that someone does something racist and blatant and then they pay out the pocket? Because we don't have that anymore. We don't have those grassroots people like Dr. King and other civil rights people that you don't want us on your bus, we'll walk. You don't want us in your store, or we can't, we'll walk. You got to do things. Not depend on these racist, sold-out politicians, these corrupt cops, and all these agencies that don't care about black folks that still look as the slaves. That's the bottom line. So this ain't over. The sad reality is that, yeah, you got black faces in places, but they sold out. They know good and well this is a hate crime. They know good and well this was an attempt. They know good and well what was up. And this ain't no prank or no joke. Just like lynching and hanging people and putting them on postcards, they laughing or feeding black babies to alligators in Florida back in, 19, early, in the 1800s, early 1900s. They laughing. What is so funny? There is nothing funny. Need some justice. Please hit like, subscribe, welcome thoughts, comments, and I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch for another shit if you feel like it. I'm out. Peace.